August favorites. Finally, I'm super late on this, sorry guys. Okay, so, it's almost fall. We're literally almost there and is it, I mean, obviously fall is the best time of the year ever. And actually my best friend just sent me an article the other day about like top 20 things that people, that girls do in the fall and all of them were hilarious but they're so true like you know crunch around in leaves in their Ugg boots or like um buy everything pumpkin spice or you know just all those things it just cracked me up because boy a lot of them are true um but fall is the best it's the best so speaking of fall this is not a makeup favorite but just a favorite i had to mention so my favorite like wall plugins are Glade and I bought Bath and Body Works, I bought Yankee Can, I bought all of them, but Glade, I always end up going back there because even though they don't have as many scents to choose from as like Bath and Body Works does, they just seem to give a bigger scent throw, they're more inexpensive unless you get a sale with the other, in which case they kind of even out. But regardless, I just end up loving them more and I always go back. They have their fall scents out now and this is the Red Apple Bakery scent and they had a pumpkin one as well, but sometimes with pumpkin, it can be too much and I didn't want, I just didn't want that scent everywhere. But apple type scents are amazing. And this one, they had the Glade candle that you could smell and it is the perfect fall apple scent, if you know what I mean. It's not just pure apple, it's just like, I don't know if it's like cinnamon apple kinda, I don't know. Regardless, I love it. So this is like the second pack of these I've bought. I really, really like it. And so definitely you should get it if you like apples and fall because you will love this one. So excited about that. All right, on to makeup favorites. So one of my rediscovered favorites is the Hard Candy Glamouflage. This, I completely just, it got in my concealer little bin and I just never touched it for a long time and I have it in light. And I think they only have like four or five shades of this. And this is the lightest one. It's just a really heavy duty concealer, which is exactly what it's marketed as. It just, it really covers, but at the same time, it's almost moisturizing in the weirdest way because there's some sort of like oil in it or something and it almost feels moisturizing instead of looking weird and cakey. Now this I usually use just with my fingers and I'll just use like my ring finger to pat it in until it looks um, just kind of flawless. I don't, I don't love it with a brush so I usually just do my fingers with a brush. I can never seem to get it quite right so I just love it. It's really, I think it's like six bucks or something at Walmart. I just love it. I'm so excited I just like rediscovered that. My favorite lip gloss this month, as we're transitioning into fall, is this one, and I'm wearing it today. It's just a really kind of simple, understated lip gloss. And the brand is Bella Pierre, and I think I got this in a boxy charm or something like that. But the shade is vanilla pink, and it's got this really kind of nice vanilla-y sponge cake type scent, but it's a really just nice, normal color. That's what I liked about it. And I don't really have any, this is kind of almost a brown tone lip gloss, and I really don't have many like this, if any. So it's kind of a first for me, but I really like it. And it smells good too. All right, what else? I also, oh, you guys, the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. I forgot about this, and I've been mentioning it now lately because, it, oh my gosh, it's so good. I just bought another one of these for when it runs out, so I have it the next day because it's so good. I just get the regular. I don't get the carbon black or any of that. I just like the original and this is in blackest black and it's just got a nice big old wand and it holds your curl like all day. I've suddenly been getting compliments on my eyelashes and I haven't gotten compliments on them in so long and I think it's because this really does make a difference. Out of all the mascaras I've tried, this is the best one. Hands down. I love it. Whew. Okay. Next favorite is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Now, I usually use it in the transparent shade, but I've been using 004 Sandstorm. And it's kind of been perfect at like, you know, after you put your foundation on and you kind of look at yourself and you're like, eh, like it needs a little something more, a little more coverage, but you don't want to cake on more foundation. This has been doing the trick perfectly because it doesn't look like a mask. Uh, let me rephrase. It doesn't look like dry and weirdly matte. It's just the perfect amount and gets rid of oil without looking just powdery. Ooh, I love it. And this is super inexpensive. It's like four or five bucks. Another favorite of mine is this Star Looks Liner. I feel like it's been a favorite every month, but every time I'm looking to see, okay, what did I love this month? This is always one of them. I just wear it on my lower lash line and it's not really that obvious, which is what I like about it. But it's just this really pretty, like almost emerald green with a gold shimmer to it. And it just looks really nice and understated, but it still adds a little bit of a pop of color when you're up close. And I just love it. 
lasts all day and it's such a smooth formula. Ooh, I love it. And the packaging is so sleek. It, it's very, very much like Max packaging. Two more favorites. So foundation wise, I've been loving this. This is the Revlon Age Defying Firming and Lifting Makeup and I have it in the shade Bare Buff, which is number 10. It's a little dark. I don't, this might be the latest, the lightest shade. I don't know. But unfortunately, when it comes to winter time, I don't think I'll be able to wear this, but right now it's worked. And I've been applying it with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki brush, and that so far has been my favorite mode of application for this. And I love that it's got a pump, it has SPF of 15, and I just like the way it looks. It just kind of just evens out my face and gives a good amount of coverage. I would say this is medium coverage, but again, it doesn't look cakey. And then when I pair it with my Rimmel Stay Matte, I just really like the way it's very natural and very lifelike, but your skin's still breathing, so it's sort of dewy, but not quite. It's just that perfect balance, like a satin finish. And my last favorite is what I'm wearing right now, which is this kimono. And I bought it, it was so inexpensive on shop lately. I wish I could remember how much it was, but it was literally, I wish I could remember. If I remember the price or if I find it, I'll put it below. But I'll put the link for the site as well. Shop Lately is one of my favorites. And I always go through phases where I'll buy a lot of stuff from them and then I'll just kind of not for a while. And then I buy a bunch of stuff from them and then I don't for a while. But I love it. And this kimono, I'll put a picture as well. It's the perfect length. It's the perfect weight. I love the pattern. And it's just comfortable. And kimonos, I mean, of course, it's not a real kimono. But kimonos are one of those kind of fashionable things right now that I wasn't so sure about. And then I found this one and I was like, this is exactly what I wanted. It's not so much that it's like, looks weird when you're out and about, you know? I really, I just love it. I just love it. I was so excited to find one that was just perfect. So, and they had quite a few patterns on there for really cheap. So, like I said, I'll put that below because I just can't stop raving and ranting about it. Ranting and raving. Anyway, so, oh, one last favorite. My, okay, you guys know I love Erin Condren so much. This is my new favorite, and this is their, just their, not their planner, it's just their on-the-go notebook. Simple as pie, it's just line pages. But I love this pattern! I kind of wish I'd gotten my life planner in this pattern. I'll have to in the future, but I just, I just love it. Is that not absolutely adorable? And, you know, like I said, all it is is line pages, and then it does have some stickers in it, like usual, in the um, folder as well, and things like that, but... I just love the pattern to be honest and I've just been taking it to and from work with me just making all my lists of things I need to get done and throwing post-it notes all over the place but it's nice to have all my to-do lists in one because usually I write like some on post-it notes some on loose paper some in notebooks but now I've just this has become my go-to so I write all my to-do lists in here anyway so those are all my August favorites hopefully that was helpful for you guys I'd love to know what yours were or maybe even your September favorites because we are totally in September already <laughs> but anyway I'll catch you guys very soon bye